Have you ever wanted to create your own animation videos, but you just think it's too hard? Luckily, there's Animaker that lets you create animation videos really easily. I bet you that after watching this video, you're going to feel confident and you're going to build your own animation video right away. There's a bunch of characters that you can customize their expressions, their movements, their keyframes, and there's a lot of things that you can customize that makes Animaker really good. So let's go jump over to Animaker to show you what it's all about. My name is George, this is Sassmaster, and let's head on over to my desktop right now. All right, this is the Animaker homepage. If you guys want to check it out, that link will be in the description. So let's go jump over to my Animaker dashboard. Now, there's a lot of things going on in the Animaker dashboard, but don't worry, everything's super easy to use. So first off, we can create a blank project depending on the size of the project that we need. For example, there's a horizontal video, which is 16 by nine, which is what we mostly see. For example, what you're viewing right now, it's 16 by nine. Our TVs are 16 by nine. So if that's what you want to use, just select it and we can get started right away. We can start from a blank project or from a template. If we need different sizes, well, there's a bunch of them available or custom size video. Next thing we see are projects that we've worked recently we're going to see those there templates we have the templates that that has been added this month and just to give you an example it's october 9th and they already already added all these templates from october so there's a bunch of templates getting added really quickly okay next thing we have our category which is cartoon videos and we're going to view examples here if you like something we can use it video ads invites social media instagram square and heads up Aside from creating animation videos, you can also create normal ads. So you have two options here, create animation videos and normal videos. There's intros, outros, and all that good stuff. On the left, let me go through these really quickly. You can view my projects, which is what you worked recently. Shared with me if you have teammates. Brand kit, so you can add your own logo and information so you work more quickly with your brands, well, the ads that you're creating. For example, you can add your brand logo, the color palette that you work recently. So for example, if you're always using a certain shade of green, blue, or whatever, you can add the color palette right here. You can add your own fonts, brand character. So creating the character that you're always using for that brand. So you don't need to create it every single time. The intro and outro video, the brand video templates, and the brand dex templates. Okay, let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go get started with one of these templates. So we can get started and show you what the actual magic is with Animaker. So let me choose one of these templates and we'll choose this lady. You can see that if I hover over a template, it's going to animate it and I'm going to see how it actually works. If I like it, I can use it or I can skip to another one or like I mentioned before, use a blank template. So in this case, let's go ahead and use this one. I don't know what it's for, but let's find out. Okay. So they have templates for dentists, for veterinaries, for just whatever you need, okay? So she's saying, hello, I am Susan. And let me show you really quickly what the Canva is so you can work around. But the first thing that I want to cover is the animation of the character. Um, really quickly, on the left, we have our options. So for example, for our assets, our characters, our fonts, backgrounds, music, and all those settings over here. And then you pop up the menu for those. In the center, we have the Canva to work with. On the top, we have a full version and the light version. If you don't want to get overcomplicated and there's too much settings going around, go into the light version. Next thing we have is the play to play all the scenes instead of just one single scene. If you want to play one single scene, you'll find that right here. Okay, we can share it via link. We can publish it to export as a video. And yes, you can export up to 4K. And then we have our scenes on the right. And on the bottom, we have our timeline. Okay. We have timeline for character, timeline for the video, and timeline for the camera, okay? Highly customizable, remember, okay? So, like I mentioned before, let's get started with the sweet stuff. So first off is we want to see how flexible are the characters? I mean, how much can we do with them? Well, if I select the character, we're gonna get pop-up options here and on the right. So let me show you really quickly. If we want to animate it for the action, we can click on it. If we want to make more action, click on plus. If we want to use a voiceover, we use this. If we want to animate it by keyframe, which is something I really love, we could do it through here. Now, what is the keyframe? Let me click on it. Okay, I've selected. So when the video starts, there's already one keyframe working. Okay, so that means that it's gonna move from this point to that point. 
but it doesn't stop there. We can animate it further, which makes this more flexible. Like I mentioned before, that's something I really like because professional editors work that way. You have keyframes, okay? Let's just say that I want to move it somewhere else. Just for reference, just for playing, let me move the playhead to the front over here. And now I have a little plus button that I can work with. That little plus button lets me add another keyframe. So let me click on it. And now I'm able to move the character and we see the line dots move. What is that telling me? It's telling me that this character is going to move that certain way. So for example, if I position it there, well, let me play this smart move. See if it's something I like. Play. And that's how it's going to move. I can move this keyframe if I like to make it even slower, or I can make it even faster by moving it from the, the, the timeline on the bottom. If I want to add more keyframes, I put my keyframe over here and I'll click plus and I'll add another one. Move it around. Let me click play. Obviously, this is not something that looks good, but I'm just trying to show you what is possible with the keyframes. Okay. If I want to apply it, I'll click apply. In this case, I won't because that's not going to look, look, look good because it's just zigzagging. All right. Um, we have the color settings, the swap. So for example, if you want to swap it with another character, we click on this one. If we want to add in additional characters, we don't use swap. We just put it inside. Okay. Next thing we have is flip. If you want to flip it from there, settings, lock it. If you don't want to move it anymore. So let's just say that you have a lot of things going on, like text behind it and all of that. And you don't want to move your character because it's just placed the way you want it. You can lock it. Okay. Now let's go over to the actual settings for the animation. Okay. First off we have the actions and it's going to seem crazy, but they have a ton of actions. I'm not trying to sweet talk this, but check this out. I'm going to scroll through this and there's a bunch of actions. Check. I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Check all of these bunch. There's just more and more. So I recommend that depending on what you need, for example, I'll use swimming and let's use swimming for this. Okay. And I have these options available. So let's make her swim. Okay. She's in the swimming pool now. Let me drag her over here and there we go. So just by searching one of the actions, we have several things that we can do, but let's use, for example, stand and talking. All right. That's a simple one and something that you would use commonly for animation videos because you want to explain something that could be something that we want to use. Next, we have the expressions. So just imagine we have all those combinations of animations, plus we have the expressions. So it's highly customizable. Okay. And that's not the best part. Okay. So if I want to make her sad, the expression is going to change. It's going to be angry, starred. I don't know what you call that. That's an unimpressed, confused, super angry, astonished, sleepy, evil, poker face. And you can just go on and on with the animations. Okay. Now, what else can we do? So for example, we can swap the character. If this is not what we wanted, let's use this guy. Let's use this police officer. Okay. There we go. We have this police officer. We can apply it and you just saw we swapped it really easily. Okay. Okay. Another thing that I like, and this is one of the best parts is creating your own character. Okay. Let's get started. And we have a menu selector. So is it a boy? Is it a he, a she or a girl? So let's go with he. All right. And then we have these type of characters. We can customize these. This is, this is not where we stop. Hmm. Let's find someone that kind of looks like me. I'm, I'm thinking this guy. Okay. Um, what shade of skin is he? So let's go with this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. The type of hair or no hair. <laughs> so let me find it here. Let me see. Hmm. I think it's okay. This one right there. Okay. That's a good one. Next thing we have is the hair color. It's black. Oops. Black also. All right. And then we have the face shape. So I honestly don't know what my face shape is, but I mean, you can just play around different type of shapes. 
Okay, let's get that. Mustache, yep. No, that's too big. Okay, that's more like it, yep. And let's go with black. Oops, clicked on that. Black, the eyes, we wanna change the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips, and you could just play on and on with this. Let me go down. You can change their their sunglasses, their ears, their clothes, their, I mean, just a bunch of things that you could do here. Now imagine all these combinations give you millions and probably even billions of combinations to make something unique based on all these settings that we have. But let's just say, for example, because we don't wanna make this video super long, that this is the character that we like, okay? So let's go ahead and save. Now that our character is created, let's go back into our design, okay? Here's the characters, let's go into the plus again, and this is where we're going to find our customized characters. So again, let's swap this, well, let's bring in the two of them. Okay, there's two of them, let's resize them so they're practically the same. Okay, a little bit smaller right about there that's kind of right okay now we have two characters here okay and that way we can work with characters this is my character that i just created again like i mentioned before you can create your own customized character based on all the settings that are available so let's get rid of this one now bring in this guy here this is my character and that's for the characters like i mentioned before we can edit their keyframes by checking them out on the bottom Next thing we have are the font settings. Again, we can keyframe the fonts so they move also. And by moving them, well, you can make a bunch of movements available. So here's a keyframe. You can actually go like that. Okay, let's test it out. Okay, that's too fast. Let me move the keyframe. Okay, that's slow. Did you see how we can even move it like that, like 360 degrees if we like? with that let me remove it we have our settings on the right for the fonts we can change the font style remember we can upload our own font we can upload it in the brand assets or upload it here to have it ready the size the color bold italic underline the alignment the letter spacing the transparency if you need to make it more transparent an effect for the enter an effect for the exit and we'll see these effects right here and these effects can also be changed to time frame just in case it's too fast so for example let me click play on the whole video let's wait for that to load okay so you saw that the that the text jumped in after one second and it already had an effect this effect is reflected on pink so if i shorten this it's going to move really quickly if i make it longer it's going to move slowly so that's how the keyframes also work for the effect in the beginning and if we want to add an exit effect we click on it and we have all these options for exit effect highly customizable super easy to use if we want to bring in other type of objects well that's also possible so let's click on this little cup right here and we have gradient shapes, gradient with text, icons, office, emojis, stickers. You can search through them because there's a bunch of them, okay? If we wanna bring in some text that already has templates, well, we can choose from all these available here, okay? And then we can go ahead and edit them. If I just click on one, it's added there. Move it around, we wanna edit it, double click on it, and we just edit there. Get rid of it, delete. Backgrounds, if we want to change the background, maybe something a little bit more gradient. Well, it's not really gradient there, but you can change them. See that there? Work with something that you need. There's a bunch of backgrounds that you can use. For example, if you want to bring in a scene for a beach, let's just say you're making some tour vid animation videos for a beach. Well, just add the beach on the background and start working with it. So for example, beach, all right enter we get all the beach backgrounds that we can use to start an animation or if you want to upload obviously you can upload your own we have images available here there's a ton of images that you can search stock free images we have videos if you want to add again a ton of them i recommend you search for something that you actually need because there's so many we have the music so if you don't like the music that comes with whoop sorry if you hover over it it's going to play if you don't like the music that comes from the template, well, we can edit it. For example, 
here is the music on the bottom of the timeline and if we don't we can play it we can change the volume we can trim it clone it and delete it if we don't like it we delete it and then we can add a new one if i hover over a music track it's going to play let's just choose this one for demo purposes and now it's added now from what I've heard, there's thousands of music songs royalty free that you can use without any problems. So add them to your videos and export them. Okay. Next thing we have is the special effects. So there's effects with movement. Let me add it there. We have some balloon effects. There's more effects that we can play around with depending on the mood or the type of video that you're adding. These are pretty nice for a video. If you want to get some reactions or you're talking about something for reactions and we can export also so right now we've been working on scene number one we have more scenes available when we choose them so we go through the scenes right here if we want to edit scene number two we just click on it and start editing if we think scene two should be scene three well we can just drag it to the bottom and now it becomes scene three instead of two so now these play along if you want to watch this video, we just click play. You can see the timeline going on the bottom. Soon it's going to jump to scene two, which you can see right here. Okay, now it's a really good example that we just saw right now that scene number one is super long, right? So we're thinking it's too long, it's just too redundant. Well, there's a little plus and minus button right here. Each minus that we do is going to remove one second to it. So for example, scene number one should be much quicker. So we can leave it at three seconds, just an example. If we click play now, scene one is just going to be three seconds and the other ones, whatever seconds they are, but we can reduce them and make them larger like i mentioned before everything's just super easy to use and if you think that this is too overcomplicated, like i like i mentioned before you can go into the light version and just everything goes really easily and it's just more easy to edit okay so for example for characters you go for text foreground background everything's more easy to use on the light version but obviously you're losing some function functionalities but it's better to use the full version if you are comfortable with it Next thing we have is the settings for the timeline of the video and the camera. We can all cust we can customize these also for zooming in, zooming out, making those kind of animations. And that's also, also available through keyframes. And if you're ready and if you like the video that you just created, well, here comes the end. Let's go ahead and publish. For publish, we can download the video, download as a GIF, um, share it to Facebook, YouTube, or other downloads. Let's choose video because that's going to be one of the ones that you're going to use the most. And like I mentioned before, you can export up to 4K if you have that option available in your plan. So all the way up to 4K. File type, MP4, MOV, MKV, FLV, and all these available. So you can download for whatever type that you need. Okay, if you're done, download. It's going to start rendering and then you can download it. But there you go that is animaker like i mentioned before it's just going to depend on your imagination what creations are going to create with your videos and obviously depending on the business niche that you're on it's going to depend on the video that you're going to create but it's super easy to use create your own character bring them in add the expression that you need animate it with keyframes and the movements that it has and that way you can create your own original creation for an animation video Plus, you can probably make a lot of money by selling these type of videos. If you have your own marketing company, well, you can make these videos to offer them to your clients. And if you're using it for your own business, well, it's super easy to use and you don't have to pay someone else to create animation videos. Well, there you go, guys. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.